Welcome back to the Rip Curl Pro Bells Beach, presented by Bonsoy. Quarterfinal number three getting underway with the world number one up at the moment. We're in that yellow oh. jersey and taking to the sky, leaping across that section to find the open face, drives up into the pocket, releases that tail, and now throws the board on rail a couple of times as he rolls this one right through to the inside. Let's see if it stands up again for him. Really consolidating this number one position with a strong running here at stop number four, and he loves the feel of it. Griffin Colapinto up against Jake Marshall. Let's have a look at the replay. Yeah, got a huge amount of speed, and uh, it was actually quite a functional air because he had to get down the line to these sections here, and then Griff. Gets back into rhythm on the open face. Nice carving turns, keeping the rails clean. Roundhouse cut back, rebounds off the foam. And uh, looking super smooth and relaxed on these Bell's walls all the way through to the inside. Watch this final section. Kapow! Just hammers that. <laughs> Takes a bow. Let's have another look at it. Big wheelie air. Yeah, big straight air. Got the little wheelie, but uh, really controlled though. And then just slams the fins back out through the uh, the lip of the wave here. So look at the ground that he covered. Keeps the board nice and centred under his feet. Difficult landing. Neg <laughs> navigates that so well. And watch this. Straight back onto the, that uh, inside toe side rail. Back into the rhythm of the wave. Foam climb always. A <laughs> to decide who is going to be... Moving through to the semis here, and Jake, he gets his campaign underway. He has looked so good on his road through to this point in the competition. Needs to maintain that form and continue to, to push hard. Absolutely ripping in the last round over at Winky. Big nose pick, reverses, setting the fins free. On a magic board and looking for a big finish here. Nice hit there on the inside, but I'm going to ask Richie Lovett his thoughts. This is the first time we've seen a, a super high risk manoeuvre done right off the takeoff. But this was a good wave too. Jake, he's found some form here. Been surfing so well in all the events in 2024. But you can see he was just coming from behind in those sections. Griff just had all that uh, momentum and open face to work with. Jake, bringing this one all the way through to the inside. Wiggling, carving, arcing, rail to rail, trans rail to rail transitions, excuse me. Back to live action now. So Griff already has banked an 8.5 and quickly goes looking for more on the outside. Bit wobbly there, but still hanging on to this one. And the wave steepens again, glides through that carve. So his approach on that first ride. Rewarded high risk, and now he throws everything at that final section. <laughs> he is switched on. Gets the completion. It's just a big one-two punch to open this round. And this is wave number two, so he's picked off two gems here. And this one, he got started with some open face maneuvers. Comes from behind the section. Ooh. Little stumble there, but cleans it up really well here. That was a beautiful arcing turn. Uh, more radius on that uh, big open face carve at the end of the bowl. And then uh, here, here's the special moment. Throws caution to the wind, gets the rotation. Saved that ride with the final move. Oh, yeah. He was so measured through the first couple of turns here, almost maybe a little too measured. Yeah, looked a bit sleepy. And uh, again, difficult wave to ride with his surface texture. But uh, yeah, he cleaned it up and Griff just going well. I've got to put some, uh, some spice on the end of this one. I think it'll fall under Jake's opening ride. It does just. So Jake Marshall right in this as well. A seven for him on his opening ride. As he just flies down the line. He's had great touch with those lip line floaters and carried so much speed through his ride so far in this contest. He swings that tail. Easy decision to get going on this ride. Trying to better a 6.67. Nice whipping carve out of the top. Loading up, the wave stretching out a little and he's chased it down. Goes to that rail again. 
Here's the bowl, and he lets go of a nice fin release. So really has had a, a nice flow running. But the set's coming through. Let's break this one down. And Griffin opens up with a beautiful slice. Now he gets going, hits the accelerator, gets to this section here, cutting back. Now the bowl starts to stand up again and clicks with that manoeuvre, gets the tail release. Swings the board back around under his feet and then a beautiful finishing turn as well. So looks like Griff has so much time to go into every single one of these manoeuvres. He doesn't look rushed and he is just in perfect flow with uh, the Bell's walls at the moment. Reminds me of Parco. Ron, how you used to see Parker, just his approach was just so silky and smooth, always looked like he had plenty of time. That was a radical manoeuvre. The fins totally disengaged with the wall of the, uh, the water there, and then uh, Griff was able to spin them around, get that release, re-engage the board, and then gets to this finishing turn. Fans it perfectly, throws the arms up. That helps with that, that weightless sort of action as he comes uh, off the lip. Jake Marshall was chatting to his coach, Chris Gallagher, earlier this morning, and he was saying, like, he doesn't want to be the per perennial grinder just looking to keep his spot on the tour. So let's throw something at some of these sections. He certainly did it at Winky, and it looks like he's going to try and do it here, but he overcooks it on that occasion. His performance is so calculated and smooth, whereas uh, Jake now perhaps feeling a little bit of pressure, thinking he does need to uh, step it up one more notch to really compete with Griffin in this one. And uh, he's been making these all week long. And just a little judgment. Oh, that was pretty awkward too. Wow. And he's out there with priority. And he is just on fire at the moment. Four quality rides that he's tapped into now. And with those excellent scores, the only option is to go harder to improve his situation now. So let's see what he can do. It's a, a little caught behind on this one, but still just has the, the flow to get himself out on that open face. <laughs> Throws it away on that final section. It was a joy to watch because he went mad, but Ethan didn't get a whole lot of opportunity in that last heat. And we know that it is going to slow up at some point. Let's see what Griffin can throw at us here. He's got some speed. Lining up something big. Leans into the layback. Throws all that weight on the tail. And still on the attack as he... Climbs vertically and throws the fins. This wave's starting to flatten, but Griff just, you know, as a result of this wave being uh, half as good as the others, almost more aggressive. Turbulence and white water, whether he got a, would have got a huge score that would have helped him out. Here's a replay of Griff's last wave. <laughs> Yeah, pretty funky layback hack to start things off. A foam climb straight back up into a lip hit, busting the tail out of the back of the wave. Cut backing into this end of the bowl section. You can already see, Ron, so again, as this tide comes up, uh, it, it starts to limit the opportunity through that bowl. Uh, there's a reef under here that generally offers three to four sections. Wow. Love that. Yeah, well, that's um, swell gets sucked back out to sea. Now it's pushing in. But as Renato said, it will fill up at some point. Good looking wave here for Jake. He's got some speed to burn. Goes the big oop. And he can't quite stick it. It was going to be the only turn he was going to juice out of that wave. Uh, we saw Griff do yesterday as well. Big extension. Great looking wave here for Jake. Yeah, Jake finding that release. Look at the speed that he carries through all these in-between moments. What? And he goes for that that big nose pick oh. release and can't quite stick it. We've still got 10 minutes to go. So uh, the replay, Jake taps that one. Good little tail drift. Keeps a lot of speed through this section. Bang, oh, it. love it. Wow. Love the attempt. Just lost it. You know, it is a different face that you're dealing with uh, as opposed to Winky. So these moves are a, a little bit harder to execute on the bowl. Yeah, he was just going for the nose pick, and you can see his front foot just wasn't firmly planted, just missed that upper section of the board. And then that core all came unraveled from that point there. 11 minutes remaining here. Clapping on that performance, and why wouldn't they? It was an amazing... Uh, effort from Griffin, a very healthy heat score total, not the best of the event. Could be.